Hey guys, I uh, wanted to do the, uh, this month's Q&A, so uh, I took all the questions out of the box and I'm going to answer them. We had a few good ones, a few uh, ridiculous ones, but uh, alright, we'll get started. How about a weekly sample menu of paleo diet? It's a good question and I think that we are going to do that. Um, look for that in the near future. Uh, I know how it is, it's easier when someone has something laid out for you, you can just follow it, um, so that's a really good idea. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely, uh, we'll see what we can put together and uh, hand out to you guys. All right. <clears throat> Should you work out when you're sick? Next question. Uh, no, not a good idea. Uh, do we do it? Yeah. You know, I hate to miss the gym and like I feel like, hey, if I sweat out the toxins, but it's probably all BS, honestly. Best thing you can do is hydrate and rest. Um, <clears throat> if you come to the gym sick too, you have the chance of getting everybody else sick, which, you know, then we'd have to kill you. So uh, try not to come to the gym when you're sick. Same thing with being injured, you know. If you're hurt, some days you have to take time off. Last week, you know, I, I tweaked my back, uh, not even working out, it was, you know, sleeping. And uh, I took five days off, it was miserable. I was very depressed, but now I'm happy, and I'm healed, and I'm working out again. So uh, next question. Mal, is Dakota a good lover? Um, I'm gonna answer that for her, and the answer is yes. Moving on. Next question. Now that it's cold, maybe a maybe we could jog 20 minutes before the stretch. Easy jog. Yeah. Um, I don't think we could do it every workout, right? Because we have a time limit, and also we have the uh, constantly varied. CrossFit is constantly varied, so we have a ton of stuff that we want to do. Some days we do a warm up that's not just necessarily meant to warm us up. It's meant to work towards something that we're doing in the wad. So for Maybe just another way we can open up the hips a little bit or warm up the shoulders for some presses or, you know, um, <clears throat> something like that. However, uh, I like jogging. We did it on Saturday. Uh, it was okay. Some people are in different running groups, uh, and that's okay. Um, I want to do an Indian run. didn't really work out, but it was the first time. Um, we know we have a decent route now. Um, one thing I want to say is uh, everybody's scared that they're going to get hit by a car. Um, what is that, man? Like, stop being scared. You're not going to get hit by a car. Uh, right now, there's probably like an 80-year-old guy running in the middle of a highway in these really short shorts, and he's fine. You know, he didn't get hit. He's, he's okay. He probably did it every day for like 40 years. So um, don't, don't worry about getting hit by a car. Um, like everybody's like freaking out. Um, trust me, there's worse places to run. People run in the middle of New York City. There's thousands of cars. All right? So we're going to be okay. And just stick to the side of the road and, you know, I'm there, sometimes I wave the cars down. All right, but uh, sorry for going on a tangent there. It's just, I thought it was funny. People got so freaked out. But um, yeah, I like running. Coach Jeff's into it. Um, I don't think Todd runs. He's, he's very big, um, so he'd probably break both of his legs if he tried to pick up any sort of speed uh, due to it being so big. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely start adding that in a little bit more um, to get, get the juices flowing. Or rowing, you know, we only have five rowers, stuff like that. That's why we do some of the back and forths on the mat as well. Um, it's to get the heart rate up, but sometimes it has a purpose with the watt. So remember, remember that if you can when you're doing it. Uh, singles night CrossFit. That's a good idea. I think we will. Uh, this is the next question. Is there a singles night? Or can we do one? Uh, I think we will in the future. Um, I think that... Uh, we don't, we, we only have about 60 people right now, um, which isn't bad for a two-month open gym. Uh, that's pretty good. And uh, <clears throat> I think in the future, definitely. I don't think we have that many single people right now. It's probably half, say. So, I mean, I just don't want to, I know how it is sometimes on the weekends with, you know, people showing up. I just don't want it to end up being just two guys sitting in a gym alone on a rower or something like that, you know. So, when we get a little bigger, though, um, you know, we'll definitely, that's, that'd be cool. We'll get a little disco ball for you guys or something like that. So. Right, let's get that one. In, inappropriate. And love the kids workout, Ella. Thanks, Ella. Um, it was cool having you work out. Uh, I think in the future we definitely want to get more kids' classes going. Well, not more kids' classes in general. We have to send somebody to get certified, somebody that's going to be able to coach all those classes. Um, not only that, but it costs a lot of money to get certified. Also it costs more on insurance. Um, it's something though I think in the future we want, to, we want to add. Actually I know we want to add it, so look out for it. 
it's just going to take some time. We got to wait till the next certification comes up and uh, go through the entire process in that sense. A um, few more things I want to bring up. So we have a uh, prospective Olympic lifting seminar if anybody's interested. If you're interested, please let us know because I'm not going to do it if I can't get more than five, six people. Uh, we don't need 20 people or anything, but, you know, a good solid eight to ten people. Uh, I just don't know if there's anybody that hasn't said that they're interested in, in before I cancel or anything like that. Same thing, uh, Todd would like to do a nutrition seminar, but he wants to make sure that people will show up, and I can understand. Um, also, one thing I wanted to say about the gym, uh, I'm really happy with the community lately. I think that it's awesome, and I, and I kind of wanted to invite you guys to take it upon yourselves to really, if you want to do something that we don't have, um, as long as you bring it by me, um, I would love for you guys to set it up. So, like, if you have a uh, 5K coming up that you really want to do, like a Tough Mudder, and you want to build a Broad Street team, if you came in and said, hey, look, Dakota, uh, I want to get people to do the Tough Mudder, I mean, I can... I can kind of tell people, hey, look, we're doing Tough Mudder, but a lot of times it's hard to like really make sure everybody gets going because I have uh, so much on my plate with the gym right now. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to. I give my best, but a lot of times my best is not enough to really set up these kind of things. Um, so if you wanted to like put up uh, maybe sign-up sheets or kind of like make your own Facebook group that says, hey, you know, the Tough Mudder event coming up next week, you know, who's broad streeters that are going to do it, and you guys meet up and – you know, I would even be willing to do, I would do something like that, but I just don't have time to set up things like that. Other competitions, seminars, run all the classes, clean the gym, set the gym up. <clears throat> so some things lose out. Um, but I would seriously love for somebody else to like kind of get that going because even I, on a Saturday, would love to hit like a Tough Mudder. Or even if we all go to a Flyers game, it doesn't even have to be workout related. Like, hey, we're all going to get tickets for the Flyers game. We can pre-game in the parking lot or something like that, you know you know, something, something cool like that, you know? Or, you know, even on a Saturday, hey, look, Dakota, I'm interested in this. Uh, you know, one thing I would like to do is a social where we go to a bar or go to a restaurant or go to a, um, I guess anything really, but no, you know, not workout related. We don't even wear workout clothes, you know, you just wear normal clothes and we'll go get dinner and, you know, joke around, hang out. I think it'd be fun for the gym, considering we're a pretty good community now. And we, uh, I think we all enjoy kind of uh, BSing at the gym, so I think it would be good. So anyway, guys, thanks for uh, asking questions. Hopefully this video was, uh, was informative. These videos will get better with better questions, so, um, you know. I don't know where I was going with that. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you for the rest of the week. Bye.